All right, thanks again for watching. I'm Dave, and this is Joe Jorgensen talking about the environment. I will work to remove government barriers to replacing coal burning and oil burning power plants in the United States with safe, non-polluting, high-tech nuclear power plants and allowing off-grid use of solar power. Worldwide, I believe we need to consider all scientific and economic knowledge to care for our environment and not cherry-pick data to support a predetermined outcome. Most pollution is generated in developing countries, so reducing pollution worldwide requires cost-efficient, zero-emission energy sources like nuclear. All right. She talked about developing countries, which a lot of um, cherry pickers, uh, they ignore that data. She was taking a little shot at the, um, we'll call them the global warming alarmists. I do believe there's an issue with the climate. Um, I've always said, especially after watching the Michael Moore movie, the latest one is, okay, this isn't working. Um, these numbers that they're coming back with, this is untenable. We're not going to be able to keep up with this. Uh, no matter how much uh, solar we go to, it'll never be enough. And nuclear has become much safer, much more effective, uh, both uh, cost effective and um, it isn't the um, nuclear power of the 1970s. Okay. Uh, this isn't Chernobyl or Three Mile Island anymore. Um, nuclear power is very safe. Uh, and we should be using it rather than uh, coal-fired plants. But she did allude to the notion that other countries like India, like China, for instance, are developing coal plants faster than, you know, General Motors is selling cars. So we need to be on the, you know, just we need to consider everything. You know, Tulsi Gabbard said we can't have an environmental policy unless we have cooperation and the libertarians are the ones that want to do no harm we don't want to sanction other countries we don't want to go after other countries and change the leadership in those countries what we want to do is work with those countries and just work together on these difficult issues i mean there are big issues to deal with people and the two major parties aren't talking about it and the media is not talking about it um, just everybody wants to beat Donald Trump. Well, beating Donald Trump is not going to fix the things that are broken. All right. It, it could make it worse, to be honest with you, because Trump is okay on a couple of things here and there. Um, but Jorgensen, she would be like light years ahead when it comes to these issues. Uh, if you're interested in what she says here, on uh, other issues, you can check out her website, joe20.com. Here she talks about the environment. Jesse Ventura said that, you know, uh, libertarians don't believe in global warming or something. I think they're skeptical on some of the data. Um, and she mentions that here. Doesn't necessarily mean she doesn't believe that the earth is warming, but rather than coming up with crazy solutions, the libertarians come up with something that's very common sense and uh, you know you could actually generate electricity and you could go off the grid which to me is really interesting I'd love to create my own power plant in my own home saving lots of money and um, basically sticking it to these large corporations that probably are overcharging everybody for the electricity that they uh, generate in any effect, um, thanks for watching, and uh, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. We will be talking more about Joe Jorgensen and uh, libertarians in general and news issues and so forth. I mean, I am very independent-minded, uh, so I do not trust the government whatsoever at this point. Uh, when it comes to the pandemic, things that are going on, I do not trust the government narrative. I'm consistent in that way. Um, in any event, uh, I'll be talking about that as well in the days to come. So there's Joe Jorgensen. Um, sounds pretty sane to me. I'll be back. See you then.